Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today I'm going to give you just a quick little tutorial on how to install LCPDFR. I've had some questions lately. Uh, some people are having some trouble getting it installed or uh, getting it working in game. Um, so basically I'm just going to give you a rundown on what I did to get it working in the game. Um, so first of all, you want to go to LCPDFR.com. Uh, you're going to go up to the top, click downloads here. Uh, now you're going to get this menu obviously and right at the top you'll see LCPDFR first response but those ones aren't supported so you're gonna to go to the one in the middle that doesn't have not supported so click on that one now you should get to this forum post and it'll say LCPD first response 1.0 C uh, 1.0 C is the latest version so you're gonna to want to download that one so obviously you're gonna click download and you're gonna to agree to that and now the one that you want is the first response automatic install the zip file at the very very top so you're gonna click on that download button you're going to go through the little security check and then you're going to click download file. Uh, once you do have that downloaded file, you're going to open up the zip. And now you should end up just with this zip file here. Uh, you're just going to double click on it. And you're going to run that. Now it should just say unpacking. You'll get to the install. So you're going to go through the install just as normal. Uh, you're going to agree. Now what you want to do here is you just want to make sure you have, obviously you want to install the mod. Uh, you want to have the .NET script hook. These should already be checked on default, so you shouldn't need to worry about it, but you just want to make sure you do have those on anyway. Um, now, the main thing here as well, you don't want to check both these. The, what these are, they're basically I, ASI loaders. Um, what they do is they kind of load the interface of the actual mod. Uh, so if you have both of those, they actually conflict with each other and they don't work properly. So you just want to make sure you have D Sound ASI loader installed. Uh, and then, of course... Um, you're just going to click next. Now you're going to be obviously configuring it. So it's kind of whatever you want to pick. Um, so now the important part here is depending on what version of Grand Theft Auto you have. Uh, I personally have the episodes from Liberty City. So that's the complete edition with all the DLC. Um, if you have the normal one, uh, you can navigate to that set, that directory. Uh, wherever you've installed it, navigate to the main folder. And then you're going to install it into the main directory of where your Grand Theft Auto is installed. Uh, so you're going to go select that, and then of course click next. Uh, you don't want any of this, this is just advertisement stuff. Um, so you're going to hit do not accept. Uh, so that'll go through all the way through. And now you want to launch the configurator. Um, this basically allows you to configure different options. So personally what I did was enable all text just so I could see. Uh, basically it says whether or not all events should be uh, printed in the text wall in addition to audio. So basically uh, you'll get all the events that happen around the uh, around the world as they happen in text. So you can kind of see specifically what it might be, um, like if it's a robbery or if it's a, uh, you know, it could be anything, right? So um, the other one that I picked, uh, preload all models, uh, just because it does improve performance, it, it preloads all the character models just so uh, it doesn't, it, it takes a little shorter time to load everything. Um, the rest of this uh, you can play around with, you can limit the cops in the pursuit, but personally I just kind of left everything else on default. Um, you can name the department and all that stuff, so you can name it something crazy if you really wanted to. Uh, so yeah, I mean you're going to just click apply, so it'll say it's been saved, you can close out of that. And then basically now the mod is installed. Um, most of the time it should work if you have everything installed on your computer. Uh, now the problem that I had originally was I didn't have the C++ um, add-on installed but from Microsoft. So how you can check if you do have it installed, if you go to your start menu, you're going to go to computer and you're going to locate where you have... Um, where you have your Grand Theft Auto installed. So personally, I downloaded it from Steam. So I'm going to go Program Files. I'm going to go Steam. Now this is all relative to where you actually installed it. So most of the time, it's just going to be in Program Files in Grand Theft Auto 4 or Grand Theft Auto 4 episodes from Liberty City. Um, so I'm going to go into my Grand Theft Auto uh, episodes from Liberty City, EFLC. And then you want to go into the LCPDFR folder. Uh, now you should see this nifty little tool, it's called the LCPDFR Diagnostics Tool. I uh, know what this does is if you open it up, it'll actually check your installation and make sure you have everything that's set up and ready to go to play the game. Um, so you want to check. Now mine's all set up correctly, right? So it'll give you a warning if you have anything not installed. So I would check that. Uh, the main thing a lot of people don't have is the C++, which I didn't. 
and when you do download it make sure you download the 32-bit version I made the mistake because I have a 64-bit operating system I downloaded the 64-bit and I'm wondering why it still didn't work so I realized that of course the mod actually still runs on a 32-bit architecture so basically you want to always download the 32-bit um, for the C++ for this mod to work uh, so this will go through and, and make sure everything's good to go, uh, make sure the mod's installed correctly, and then of course you can launch your game and uh, everything should load up. Uh, the other main important thing is um, you want to make sure you're running the game as administrator, that should help. Um, so you want to right click on the launch EFLC, or in your just Grand Theft Auto 4 you should see just a... Um, uh, launch GTA 4 or just a GTA 4 uh, executable so you want to go right click it go properties and you're gonna go compatibility and you want to run this program as administrator um, basically what that does it just gives the program all the permissions it needs to make sure everything's running properly and has it has it, uh, it can run successfully so that should be it um, you should be able to run the game once you get in the game you're gonna hold the left alt and press P and that should activate the uh, mod for you and then of course it'll tell you to go to the police station from there um, so that should be it guys if you do have any problems uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out uh, I'm gonna make some more tutorials as well to install mods and maps and uh, trainers and everything else that comes along with GTA 4 uh, of course you know you can find these tutorials online but a lot of the specifics are kind of left out and you're kind of left in the dark so I hope this video did help you out uh, please let me know in the comments if you are having any issues uh, thanks guys very much for all the support and come back soon